welcome to whiskey.com. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, and I'm the master taster of whiskey.com. Today I have a very special bottle here on my cask. Uh, it's a Yukon Jack with 50% ABV, 100 US proof, and uh, it has nothing to do with, with, with whiskey. It's a, yeah, Canadian liquor written on the label. It's called the Black Sheep of Canadian Liquors. Oh, and here you see uh, <clears throat> a man in the forests. Yes, very dark. 100 proof. Yukon Jack is a taste born of hoary nights when lonely men struggled to keep their fires lit and cabins warm. Yeah, not only from the outside, but particularly from the inside. Boldly flavor, yet surprisingly smooth. There is no spirit like Yukon Jack. And there is the two recipes for drinks, a snake bite. Um, there's a tale about snakes and snake bites. Whiskey is good against snake bites and you should always carry a snake for a bite to drink afterwards a whiskey. Yeah, uh, snake bite. Pour one and a quart ounces of Yukon Jack over ice, add a dash of lime juice. Yeah. Or a jackhammer, combine one and a quarter ounce of Yukon Jack Canadian liquor with a splash of Yukon Jack permafrost schnapps. I've seen that bottle of permafrost schnapps before. It was a, mm, I think it was blue colored, uh, the same shape and looked like the glycol you, you add to your, to your cooler liquid in your car. Uh, very weird. Uh, drink as a shot or over ice. Yeah. So, screw cap plastic. Quite good. Stable, but no ceiling in it. So, you should empty it fast. Drink responsibly, please. It's, the nose is like in the beginning, like a classical perfume, not too expensive. But with the time, better aromas appear like vanilla, a strong fruitiness. And sweetness. And in the back there is some spice. I don't know. Salpai, perhaps. Fresh and light and a little icy in the nose. Yeah, have a sip. strong and sweet and very sweet and honey. The sweetness comes from the honey and the liquor receipts. They typically have uh, some sort of sweetness in it and some sort of spiciness in it. Uh, family owned recipe for a uh, a hundred, no, a thousand years uh, uh, only given from father to son or from family to family. Um, and here you can say 
the sweetness is from honey, definitely. And now after swallowing the first sip, the liquor opens up, more vanilla, more fruit. But it was a very intense attack on the tongue. The finish is not too long. It's already passing away. Still some sweetness. Fruitiness, vanilla. So it's very special on the nose. Very intense in the palate or in the palate, palate you pronounce it, and quite soft in the finish. Yeah, thank you for watching whiskey.com with a non whiskey liqueur today, and please stay tuned. Thank you.